you. A nationwide veterinarian shortage is hitting some clinics here in Arkansas. According to the State Vets Medical Association, this is a problem that only got worse during the pandemic. As THV 11's Brooke Buckner shows us, there are plans to fix the issue, but it might take a while. There's certainly a noticeable change, a noticeable decrease in the number of uh, veterinarians available. Dr. Paul Noble says he's not currently searching for vets to join his team at Bryant Veterinary Clinic, but he knows finding them is a challenge. Through word of mouth, yes, I've heard that it's um, uh, relatively hard to find. Dr. Noble says he notices the problem when he tries to take vacations. But it's hard to find relief vets, you know, harder than it was. And he says some people even come out of retirement to help out. A friend of theirs might have needed help, you know, which they didn't anticipate, and they're glad to do it on a short-term basis. According to the Arkansas Veterinary Medical Association, there are lots of reasons for the shortage, including more vets retiring or choosing to work fewer hours. There may be some now, uh, more so than when I started years ago, that are looking more for part-time work instead of full-time, and so that's, that's part of it. He also says the demand is higher now. People are willing to do so much more for their pets. It means that there's just more, more things to do, so that we need more of us to do those things. Lyon College plans to bring a veterinary school to Little Rock right here in the Heifer International Building. Lyon's president tells me this could help keep more Arkansans in the state working as vets after graduation. When they go to these professional schools, they tend to stay and practice where they train. Melissa Taberner says the school will fill a big need because Arkansas doesn't have its own veterinary medical school. It made a lot of sense for us, uh, Lyon College and our partners in Little Rock, to think about what are the things that we could do to help alleviate uh, some of these stressors in the industry. And the, the clearest thing is to, to support veterinary education in Arkansas. Brooke Buckner, THV 11 News. Brooke, thank you. There's no set date for when that Lion Veterinary School will open, but Tabiner expects to start enrolling students in the next two to three years.